What's up guys, what's up Twin Flame? So I'm about to do a Twin Flame reading for 343, which is December 13th, 2019. 343 is a significant day. Why Nipsey Hussle passed, resurrected, moved on on 343, March 31st, 2019. So 343 is a very significant day. It's 37. 37 is the heart of wisdom. The Dramatria for 37 is like the heart of wisdom, um, which is a lot about mixing spirituality and practicality um, to be the best version of yourself. And today is 37. It's midnight while I'm doing this reading. Actually, it's 1 a.m. So let's see what spirit feels about today. I'm going to pull some energy first, some energy oracle first. I might do some angels and ancestors. But today is 343. You don't want to feel the energy. I miss you guys. I haven't done YouTube readings. I do free readings on Facebook. So they keep me very busy on Facebook. Actually, I have like 10, 12, 13 more to do on Facebook. So I just decided to take a break and to do a YouTube Twin Flame reading for 343. I love it. How perfect. Perfect. The Temple Path. So... 343 three. relates to resurrection, a chosen one, God in the flesh, those chosen ones who are placed on earth to be a vessel of light, to serve a purpose, to be Jesus Christ, a vessel of God on earth. Jesus Christ is the anointed one and or his anointing. So it's about being anointed and using your anointing to lead and guide others. So... That's the temple path. That's the blueprint we follow. The Jesus Christ blueprint that was set before us, explained in the Bible, and we follow that blueprint as chosen ones. And when, like in the Bible, it says, "Leave behind, leave the let, let the dead bury their dead, and follow me." It's like following that blueprint that Jesus Christ said that the Spirit set before you, and you attune to your Spirit, and you follow the path and leave behind the dead because you're in search of more life. And that's what the Twin Flame Path is about. It's about more life. And when you're in a search and you're on a journey to more life, you should also be connected to people. You should be so honoring connection as well as partnership. You're a divine partner. So the Temple Path, it says, receiving this card represents a spiritual evolution. Your spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in the lovely garden. Symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that you're going through now is a part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and headed in the right direction, north node. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. It represents the spirit world, the lights around the temple. Look at those lights. It represents the spirit world. Your family, angels, guides, ancestors, ascended masters, helpers who long to assist you. We call upon them for and their and to be open for their wisdom and inspiration. It's a life expanding, wonderful time. Keep personal priorities as well as spiritual connection. Follow your highest intentions. Will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways. Connecting with spirit and your highest self will have a wonderful experience. A wonderful experience, basically, <laughs> influence on your experience. So yes, it's about connection with spirit. It's about twin flame journey. You're being one with your both aspects of yourself: your spirit self, your physical being, your flesh, and your spirit. Becoming one and and going on this journey to enter the next level of life, to live a better life, to live a wonderful life experience. And so it's perfect for three, four, three. Because it's like resurrection. It's moving life and people forward. And I had a dream when Nipsey died, like not even 24 hours later, I, I wake up remembering a dream. And he appears to me in a dream. And he was with Lauren London. And he said, be even louder. So it's about being loud. But loud as it make noise. Like in a way that I'm here. I have a purpose. I'm living my purpose. I'm here to be a vessel of light on earth being bright shining your light just by being you just by being one with your masculine and feminine energies so that's what this is about i love this perfect then we have rest and rejuvenation this card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state the message here is that it's time to relax you may have been busy lately but you should be finding more time to just let go 
When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the piece of wisdom that is vibrating there. Discard upright ignorant cage that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now is the time to make sure you meditate and um, this is far more productive than unceasing action. So I think it's just basically completion. These two together represent completion. This is perfect. Right under there, balance. It's like finally being one. Finally, you completed the journey. We've completed the journey and we're one. We're balanced. Why is this significant for me? And I can get emotional for this. Because of that dream, because of Nipsey Dine in 343, and then the same year, 343, it's like spirit is telling me you're complete. Like death, his was physical. But death is like ending the old way of living and entering a new life. Ending, you know when Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. No longer being dead, finally entering more life. So the journey is complete. 343, the journey is complete. Death and resurrection. Resurrecting in abundance. Resurrecting in prosperity. Resurrecting in purpose. Resurrecting in being secured in who you are. And being one with your masculine and feminine energy. So it cut me off. I was just trying to turn. I was just trying to turn it up. But being one with your masculine and feminine energy. It's like that part of the journey is complete. The contract just solidifies the balance part. But it's about, it's like a soul contract. Um, you know, like you signed up for this. Like this is the life that you signed up for when you were born. And it's like completing the first part of that contract, you know? But being partnered with spirit, it, it's about partnership as well. A partnership with spirit, walking away from the old and entering the new. It says, this card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed indicating a committed con connection of some sort. This union, spirit, masculine and feminine energy, it's our union, it could be anything. But whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's something that requires, something that is binding, at least for the time being. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so be aware and receptive that more may be coming your way. So yeah. That's perfect. It's union. It's new opportunities. It's completion. The journey is complete. So I have this dream, this recurring dream, and I, you know, it's just I'm crossing the bridge. It's like finally being able to cross the bridge. And I wouldn't be surprised if I had a dream when I went, when I go to sleep today, um, either tonight or tonight, today or tonight when I go to sleep, you know, at midnight. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I crossed the bridge this time. Finally crossing the bridge to more life. So I'm going to pull some tarot. If you relate to this reading, it's because a part of your life is being completed. It's because you're coming together in union in some way. It should be in masculine and feminine energy. This is high vibrational, I'm telling you guys. Like the twin flame journey is not low vibrational. It's high vibrational. It's for high vibrational beings, people who are seeking spirit, people who are salt on the spiritual journey. We're not talking, I'm not talking about like a soulmate connection, somebody being in a relationship or someone just you know, trying to come together with a divine partner. That is a part of it, but it's like becoming one with yourself. That's why this is a high vibrational journey because it's not for people who are just seeking a relationship. It's for people who see beyond that. So when I say finally complete, it's like you become one you are, I love this, I love this. It's like you become one with your higher self and that part of the journey is complete. And we got King of Pentacles and we have the world. Perfect, 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 perfect explanation. It's like things come full circle. It's like you started here, right? Um, or you started here based on, well, I'm just gonna say here because that makes it easier for me um, because I'm going clockwise, but it looks like I'm going counterclockwise, and I'm actually going clockwise. 
So he started here and then he went through the process. Well, let's just go this way. He started here and you go through the process, you're going through the process, struggle, 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 rejection, sacrifice, devotion, dedication, persistence, commitment, learning, intuition, increasing gifts, increasing, increasing connection, and spirit, increasing knowledge, awakening, evolution, hardship, pain, disappointment, heartbreak, barely can, you feel like you can't make it at this point, you feel like you've been on this journey for so long and it's not, what the fuck is going on, you may feel like, why isn't everything going, and, but you, you get over those tears and you keep going and you finally make it here, full circle, you finally make it here, you finally make it to the next phase, it starts again, You've completed here, and then it starts again. But now, when it starts, it's solid foundation. The same things you were worried about in the first go-round, you're not worried about those things no more. You're secure in who you are. You're abundant. You are blessed. You're highly favored. You are connected. You're stable. You're secure in your morals and values. You are secure financially. You're secure in spirit. You secure yourself. Some people secure the bag, and that's good. You secure yourself first. And then you secure the bag. It's having both secure. So people who, you know, they, they're very practical people. They work hard. They secure the bag. Anybody can secure the bag. You don't need a spiritual journey to secure the bag. But to secure yourself, you need the spiritual journey. You need the twin flame journey to become one with your masculine and feminine energies. The Jesus blueprint. Whatever blueprint you follow. The spiritual blueprint to becoming one with yourself. I follow the Jesus blueprint as a remnant of the children of Israel. So that is the blueprint set for me. But anyway, you become one with your higher self, your spirit self, and everything is different now. So the next journey, the next phase is more solid. Now you're a teacher. Now you're a fisher of men. Now people flow to you and you teach them. Now you spread light to them. You enlighten them. You break bread with them. You provide opportunities for them and you teach them. I love this. Ooh. So it's two nights here. Listen, oh my goodness. So on my reading, a lot of my Twin Flame readings, they, it's like these two, um, they're not kings though, they're knights. So let's keep that in mind. But in the Tope deck, the knights are the kings. So anyway, we have this knight of cups and we have this knight of wands. Two offers coming. And right under there, it's her holding with the two of wands, holding the globe. Like, which one do I choose? So then it brings you to a point where it's an overflow of blessings. You secured yourself. We're past that. We secured ourselves. We completed the first phase of our journey. We secured ourselves. Well, the last hump of it, um, and it's, it's definitely a hump because, you know, nine of wands energy is right under there. It's like, who do I choose? Now, all of these opportunities are coming towards me. Which one do I choose? These people are flowing to me. These knights are flowing to me. Which one do I choose? Do I choose? Which one do I choose? The thing about it is, the knight of wands come faster than the knight of cups. But the knight of cups been coming slowly but surely. I'm sorry about this lighting, guys. So because the knight of cups have been coming slowly but surely, the knight of cups meet the knight of wands at the same time because the knight of wands came at the last minute but the knight of wands catching up to that knight of cups so the knight of wands running you passionately coming toward the feminine energy potentially or coming towards you really quickly so it meets up with this knight of cups that was slowly but surely coming too because the knight of cups was also a part of the process they both had their process this one awakened late uh, the Knight of Wands awakened late. This one may have already known, but took their time because life, right? So they both meet up at the same time, and then the feminine is like, which one? I don't know who to choose. Which one? And it ain't gonna be an easy choice. It won't be easy. It's like, which one? Where is this book? Why not just look? Something is telling me to read the Nine of Wands energy. The energy of the Nine of Wands, it says, even in the face of adversity and exhaustion, you stand tall and strong. This is right under there. Perfect. You stand tall and strong. You are resilient, persistent, and ready to do what it takes to get to the finish line. Keep pushing. You are so close. Don't let others get to you. So it's like, 
everything come, both coming at you at once. You don't know what to do. But you get over that hump. You stand your ground, which is the seven of wands energy right under there. You stand your ground. And you make the best decision for you. And you stand on it. It says you protect your territory and stand for what you believe in. You are in an enviable position. You have worked hard to get where you are, but other people want what you have and are prepared to fight you for it. Protect your territory and stand what you believe in. That is perfect. Right under there is the star. Right under there, ten of cups. This is your life, right? Right under there, judgment. Right under there, queen of pentacles. Right under there, knight of pentacles. Right, this is the process, right? Right under there, balance. <laughs> right under there, six of wands. Right under there, the chariot. This is where it started, though. The unknown, right? You got the six of pentacles. You got the king of swords right under there. You got the two of cups under there. But it's like this journey was into the unknown. You took this twin flame journey into the unknown. Masculine, feminine energy, not knowing what to do. But you kept moving forward, right? You get some successes. You have some honoring connections coming. You keep working because your gift is what led you to this place. Your gift will make a way for you, right? This is for me too. You stay balanced, right? What does balance bring in? Judgment. Balance brings in judgment. I don't know why that card fought, fell, but it's perfect that it fell because judgment came. Right? And then both of these out right king and queen of pentacles it brought in partnership it brought in judgment to receive on a high level it brought in fulfillment and completion and family it brought in everything came full circle and it brought in recognition and being in alignment with their true self right it brought in all these things that people are jealous and you just stand your ground like it's a part of the process when you make it, you're going to have to deal, you deal with it. You get a lot of love. But the other part of it is the hate. But you stand your ground, right? This is 343. This is 343. A lot is changing. A lot is, a lot is coming on 343. Um, do I want to, I'm going to pull animal spirit. I was going to pull, I was thinking of, Angels and ancestors and monology, but I think I'm gonna pull an animal spirit for 3.343. This is amazing. It's amazing. You know, it's a good problem to have, right? They say it's what I, you know, on one of my readings it says, what's about to happen is what, what your soul signed up for. It's what your soul signed up for. This is what we've been working so hard for. The twin flame journey was not just about a relationship. And if you are on a twin flame journey about a relationship, maybe your, your, your journey is different. But what I'm speaking on is something much higher vibrational. Yes, partnership is amazing and needed. No, this is about partnership with yourself. Right? The temple path. The path of the chosen one. I love this swan. I love this owl. When the owl comes out, it's like the owl sees at night. It's like the owl sees the, ooh, right under their horse, right under their rabbit. Liberation. I love it. The rabbit is a liberator. If you watch that movie Bird Box, the rabbits were with the ones, the feminines. The ones that were in the basement that were being locked up and not used, and they were trying to free themselves, were the, that was... Watch that movie. No, no, I'm talking about us. I'm sorry, not Bird Box. Us. In the movie Us, the ra the rabbits were with the feminine energies. The feminine energies were in the basement, being locked up and not used. They were the ones who wanted to be free. They wanted to be used. In order to free your feminine energy, you have to use it. Your gifts, your passions, you attune to that, and that's what you that your feminine energy is. You use it. So anyway, the rabbits were with them. Freedom, liberation, freedom from bondage. Um, because you use your feminine energy. You got on that horse. You stayed on that horse to the old town rolling. You rode so you can't no more. That is about making it to the end of your spiritual journey. Completion. Until it's complete. Staying on that. Standing your ground until it's done. You know? Then we have the owl. And if you stand on your ground, I'm going to show that one. Then we have the owl. I think of OVO. When I see the owl, it's like more life, right? 
you finally make it to more life. And I love that the owl is an air sign. The uh, alchemical symbol for air is that triangle with the line at the top. So you make it. You finally, um, you make it. But the owl represents like the awakening of your third eye. It, it's like enlightenment. It says abundance, clairvoyance, treasures. The owl is generous, trusting, and secure in his or herself. It is a mysterious and out, out of, sorry, otherworldly creature found in folklore. The white owl is the companion of the goddess Lakshmi. It represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. Hey, wealth, beauty, good fortune. When the owl appears, it is an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With owlism on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon. How it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. Blessings come in. Blessings. More life. More life. The blessings of more life. Like abundance and blessings. So we can expect that. You know, I keep getting in my readings like, everything is going to be okay. Even in my playing this game, Homescapes, and one day I was just like feeling really down. And the, the app, the man in the app said, don't worry, Ash Cash. That's my name on the app. Don't worry, Ash Cash. The, you'll be surprised what the end, what this the holiday season brings. You know. And then I watch something else, and it says Christmas comes early, and it's just like, what is happening? But something is happening. Resurrection is happening. It's three four three. Three four three. I wake up today. Uh, to a, I took a nap and wake up a, a ones and fives about a blessing coming. Then I see. 37, threes and sevens, reminding me of 343, 37. Blessings, it's like spirit talking to you, letting you know that blessings are coming to you today. To me today, to you today. If you're watching this, it's for a reason. Either it's time for you to continue on your journey, it's something to look forward to, or you, re you resonate with it, and you're also being blessed, and you're also coming into union, and you're also completing your journey. Completed your journey. So the swan represents effortless creativity, sensitive, mystic, elegant power. Ooh, I love it. Elegant power. And when balance is the infinite creative power. That is what the feminine spirit is about. The Holy Spirit is about infinite. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. All in one, right? And you come in tune with your inner Holy Spirit, your inner divine feminine, your Shekinah. You, you're, you live in your side. Your side is like the spirit realm. It's like what connects. Your side is what connects the Malkuth, which is the physical reality, earth, world, and the Sephirat, the rest of the stuff, the tree of life. Peter, God, it's what goes through your side and enters Malkuth. You're your side at this point. The light comes through you. You are a vessel. You are a bridge connecting the tree of life, God, to the world. That's what it's about. It says the swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess so Saraswati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. I love it. My books. I write. I have five books. By the way, that's my books. There, the war, your money, how to increase, and how to win a war on your money. And to position yourself for increase. It helps people who increase their money and power. I highly recommend it. If you want to keep your money and you want to figure out what you're doing wrong and why you're doing wrong. And it's not totally your fault. And I teach that in my books. I suggest you get. And if you want to win the one or the people money. If you're starting a business, a product, a service. Highly recommend the warrior money. But anyway. It says the swan is ready to take us there. This graceful creature. To the fluid realm of writing creativity and, flight and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When a swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention, for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to reveal. Yes, your feminine energy. Didn't I just listen? Like this reading, I'm done. Like this is perfect. It comes together. It's like your feminine energy finally being heard, being free. It's like your feminine energy is free. I've been using mine every day. My my enlightenment, my awakening, my power, my gifts. I've been using it several times a day because I've been doing those free readings. 
and my spirit my soul my feminine appreciates it the feminine divine feminine holy spirit inside it appreciates it and so the more i use it the more connections i make follow me on facebook if you want i do it on my instagram and my facebook page i'll put the links below so yeah it's like making it to the other side finally making it to the other side it's like my dreams you know i haven't made it to the other side because i was still in a process but it's like completing the process heard something anyway <sighs> completing the process Protection, protection, protection. You are protected. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, visit AshleyGiller.com if you would like a copy of The Warrior Money. I also, I still offer paid readings. I do free readings, but the paid readings are much more in detail and much longer, and they're private. The free readings are not private. I share the video on my social media, and I tag you. So, win-win. And it's only, I try to limit them to five minutes, but I've been doing them longer. So, yeah. <clears throat> My voice is going out. So, I'll leave it there for you. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. I really appreciate you guys. Celebrate Nipsey today, 343 today. Um, today is a good day. That song just came out by 21 Savage. Today is a good day. I'm about to AK. The day is a good day. Uh, 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 uh. Today's a good day. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more light. Peace. Hey, friend. This is my book, The Warrior Money. I highly recommend it for people who would like to take their life and their finances to the next level. If you're increasing in money and power or you want to, or you know someone who could use tips and principles to live by, this book has already started working for me <clears throat> as it pertains to my brand and as it pertains to financial increase. And I want it to work for you too or for whoever needs it. So if you or someone needs to increase financially, needs to increase in money and power, and it doesn't matter if you are already winning, you could always be taken to the next level. I highly suggest this book. And I highly suggest that you get it from my website, ashleygiller.com, A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com. I'm telling you, give somebody the gift of financial literacy. You can get them anything, but when you gift them something that is life-lasting, that's the best gift you can get. So this holiday season, get the war on your money. Thank you.